Let's start with the new AP and coaches poll that literally just came out. Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, Florida State, Oklahoma, your AP top 25. Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, Florida State, and Penn State are your top five in the AFC coaches poll. In the AP top 25, Georgia last week had around 38 votes for first place. Now they have 50. So they went up. In the coaches poll, Georgia got 61 votes, Ohio State two, Washington one. But Washington didn't get a vote in the AP top 25. To round out your top 10, Penn State, Washington, Oregon, Texas, USC. For the AP poll, for the coaches poll, Oklahoma, Wash, excuse me, Washington, Oklahoma, Oregon, USC, Alabama. So you can see basically the same teams in the top 10. You just have Texas, Alabama switched in one poll and the other. When we scroll down the rest, you can see 12 through 25 for AP. North Carolina, Ole Miss, Louisville, Oregon State, Utah, Duke, UCLA, Washington State, Tennis, Notre Dame, LSU, Kansas, Kentucky, and Miami. Biggest winner in that, Louisville moved up 11 after that win over Notre Dame. Notre Dame, how did they do? They moved down 11. Ouch. 11 for 11. Miami moved down eight when they should have won and stayed if not gone up. Washington State lost first game of the season. They went down six. In the coaches pool, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit so we can take a look at it. Here you go. Notre Dame went down 10 instead of 11. Louisville went up 10. So crazy how that stayed the same there. Kansas went to the rankings. UCLA went to the rankings after not being ranked next, last week. So dropping the rankings was Missouri and Fresno State in the AP poll and Miami and Fresno State in the coaches poll. And then you can see other teams receiving votes. Missouri, Wyoming from the AP poll. Miami, that's going to be Miami, 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 Miami and Wyoming. Maybe someone should start a school called Miami. Miami and Wyoming got votes there, other teams as well. So looks like we're seeing the team shake out. People with one losses are in the, say, sub-15s. If you have a one loss against a, a pretty good team, you can be top 10. And then the teams in that 10 are all undefeated for the AP poll besides Texas. In the coaches poll, all the teams are undefeated in the top 10 besides Alabama. And Alabama lost to Texas, so technically shouldn't Texas be better than who knows? It will all shake itself out when we get more in the conference games. But this is your AP Top 25 and AFC Coaches Poll for Week 7. That is your college football Week 6 review. Come back here. We put our preview shows on Thursdays. They look at the week ahead. And then we do on Sundays the recap shows. Let me know your thoughts on how your favorite team, player, conference did. My name is Randy Silver for Randy Silver TV. This is the Gridiron Roundup. Please like and subscribe and stay with us for all the different sports roundup we have. Group Roundup, MMA Roundup, Football Roundup, European Football Roundup, and so much more. Thank you for watching. See you all next week. Out.